Hello everyone, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Before we get started, please hit like and subscribe button because it's free. Totally free. Thanks. And let's get started. Okay, here I have a beautiful picture for our tutorial today. We need to remove the background. So here I'm using selection brush tool and make a selection. I will speed up this video uh, until I finish making a selection and remove the background. So please enjoy the music. Okay, I have done making a selection and remove the background. Next, I'm gonna duplicate the image and move it a little bit on the left so we can see a little gap between two pictures. Then press Ctrl G multiple times to duplicate the picture. Then group our duplicated layers on the layer panel, select on the top and press shift on the keyboard and select the last layer, then group it or Ctrl G on the keyboard. I will leave one layer for my backup. Okay, then uh, rasterize our layer, grouped layer and then use column marquee tool to make a selection just one pixel vertical then press ctrl G on the keyboard make sure there is no gap along the selection press ctrl G so we have a new layer here I will deselect it's just one pixel layer it's so to see it you can use zoom and then select the layer and stretch it to the right or to the left so we can see the color okay nice I'll move my picture to the top and here what we have make uh, some adjustment and make sure the bottom pixel layer is fit to our image from the fit to the higher
then rasterize it and use mesh warp tool modify the point like this Okay, nice. Then to remove unwanted shape, we can use eraser tool and just erase the rest of that we don't want it. Then duplicate the layer to make it looks more better. Like so, then group it and don't forget to rasterize. Nice. So we are going to add a shadow and highlight. But first, we need to make a selection. We make selection here for our shadow. Here I'm using pen tool and start making selection. then make it a selection oh I'm sorry select the layer that we want to cut no the layer okay this is the layer press ctrl G on the keyboard so we have our selection the select first Okay, this is our selection. Nice.
Okay, nice. Make a shape for our shadow and color it as a black or gray. Here I'm using black and move it to the layer. Set the opacity on both points. Next, we are going to make a highlight. And set the flow to around 70 to 80. And opacity to around 50. And make sure the tonal range is highlight. Reduce our weight Select our layer And draw Like this Increase the width and uh, Set flow to around 50 to 20 15 to 20 Do the same thing here. Oh, I'm sorry, select layer first. Change the flow to around 15. Nice. Next, we need to add a shadow. I'm using a burn tool to make a shadow make sure the tonal range is shadow and float around 20 then select the layer and make a shadow Okay, nice. We can also use outer shadow effect to our picture.
okay nice so here we have done make a beautiful pixel stretch effect in affinity photo it's so easy and I hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video please hit like and subscribe button because it's free it's totally free thanks I hope you enjoy this tutorial I will see you in the next video bye